Well, Matthew, welcome to uh, Corey Ian. What's your thoughts on the move? Um, I'm really excited to get going. Um, I had a period of probably not playing as much as I'd like, and the opportunity of coming to Corey Ian and working under Oren came about, and I'm very excited to get going. And you're, you're in your early 20s, but you've had over 100 games in the Irish League, is that right? Yeah, about, about 120 or so. And do you feel experienced at this level? Yeah, definitely experienced from my age, but uh, as I said, didn't play as much as I liked there at Linfield, and excited to get going and play more games. And obviously you've been at Balmain and Linfield, um, how would you describe your game? Um, I'm a striker that has pace and likes to get in behind, torment defenders and obviously score goals. And um, what do you make of the current striking options at the showgrounds then? Well, I can only learn from them. There's Owen Bradley, James McLaughlin, Curtis Allen, a lot of experience there. So I'll just work with them and learn from them all I can. And you're here for the next two and a half years, what's your hopes and ambitions then? Well, Corey have done well the last few seasons, so hopefully pushing for some silverware and trying to get our way up the league as best we can. And Oren, uh, what attributes do you think Matthew can, can bring to the party? Yeah, probably just a, as, as Matthew said there, and um, you know, strikers, it's a hard position to fill. And, and, and also, I think you want a, um, variety in, in the strikers that you have. And you know, I think with obviously with the likes of Skinner and James in particular, they're probably they're very good with their back to goal and, and, and hold up type players. Um, and possibly for a while we've maybe lacked that that old fashioned number nine, I suppose that maybe scares defences and, um, and likes to go in behind and, and stretch teams more than anything else. So um, I followed Matthew for a long time. Once whilst he was at Balamini, you know, he came on the scene very very early. Um, and actually, before he signed for Linfield, we, we we tried then to get a go for, um, to see if he would come in this direction. Then um, we chose Linfield at that point in time, but we're delighted that down the line now, with even that wee bit more experience behind him, um, that it, that he's raring to go. And I just think, as you say, age and, and profile and everything else, he's he's a lot of games behind him already. Um, he'd still tell you he's, he's bits and pieces to learn as well. Uh, but I think with the strikers that we have at the club, there's a lot of good people around him who will hopefully help him make the next step in his career. And January's been a good month for us in terms of transfer agreements. Would you expect anything else? Yeah, always, and I, I, you're right. I think we have a history of of, of a good January, and and um, they've probably been better to us over the over the course than than the summer transfer windows have been. So, um, you know, we're always looking for good players, and we're always on the lookout to try and progress the club and progress the the squad as much as we can. So it's early days at this point in time, but yes, you know, we'll always be trying our hardest.